I have, hello, gonna get this, this is, pin this, welcome to day All right. I got a comment. Yep. And all right. Greetings and salutations. Um, I was trying to figure out how to pin that, but I guess I needed to like press that long and uh, figure out how to do that. But but oh well. <laughs> hey, Seventh Matter, Matthew, what's going on? CJ, the DJ. Yasmin, uh, we are now going live for episode three of Sunday Gratitude. Uh, I'm waiting for my friends, uh, the Island Touch Dance family, uh, Ataka, Alemana, and Rudy El Tigre del Mambo to join me today. Um, and, uh, and join me today and uh, join in and share what they're grateful for. So we're just waiting for uh, them um, to come in and then we'll, uh, and we'll get started. But Anyways, the beautiful thing about uh, Sunday Gratitude is that it is something I started really as daily gratitude more than four years ago. And I figured there would be a better way to have other people to uh, join in and uh, share how they feel. So, um, so yeah, um, let's kind of see where they're at because uh, I feel like they're supposed to be on already and, uh, and they're not here. So... <laughs> So you're gonna be joining me. So this is gonna be rather interesting because they probably should be on right now. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. There you go. So guys, all you gotta do is like, just tap in the request to come in and I'll be able to let you guys in the door. <laughs> Hypothetically speaking. Aha, uh -huh, there you go. Boom. And we're waiting, and we're waiting, and we're waiting. How are y'all doing today? Happy Mother's Day. Hey, hey! Hi! Greetings! <laughs> How you doing, buddy? What's going on? You How are you guys doing today? Fresh. Yeah, you look very fresh. We look like <laughs> You know, it's you look Mother's right. Day. He looks in blue. Um, <laughs> you know, making my mom happy. I got the got the pink on, the pink on everywhere. You know, people are saying like, "Is, is it Easter?" No, it's not Easter. Easter's done already. So it's just that my mom loves pink and figure that you know what we we will celebrate today, uh, Mother's Day, uh, wear pink. So I know you guys are like, wait, you didn't tell me we're supposed to. You know, <laughs> I, I, like get dressed or anything. I would wear pink. I have that pink. We, we, got, we got the hat memo. So I know, I know. <laughs> we were ready for that. I like it. Well, thanks you guys for, for being here. You know, um, I really appreciate uh, the love that you guys constantly give me. And uh, and and since wow, for forever now. I think as I think Rudy and I were talking about this the last time we saw each other. It's more than ten years now. Probably twelve years that we've known yeah. each other yeah, in a way. A and the places around the world that we've seen each other. Uh, last night, I, I out of nowhere, I was looking at like some videos I had in like my bank, and I I, re I just realized I still had that video that I I uh, I talked to you guys back in Alemana when we were in Croatia with yeah. my bull, Whoa. with my oh, wow. with my with my stuffed animal, and you were guys were like, oh okay, yeah, this awesome. is cool. What what is this? And, <laughs> What are you doing with this? I go. I travel around the world with this. I've been doing it for almost two years, and you're like crazy Filipino dad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it must be some weird Filipino thing that you guys are doing, <laughs> traveling with a stuffed animal um, that travels around with you. I know. So yeah, I just posted on YouTube right now. I said you guys check it out on YouTube. It's it's there. It's really weird. I didn't post it a while back. That's like six years ago. But anyways, nice. so uh, like I was telling everyone who just came in as well. This is uh, Sunday gratitude which is an amplified version of daily gratitude. And as you know, I've been doing daily gratitude for, for more than four years now on Instagram. And it's one of the things that has helped me get con constantly grounded with whatever challenges I have. And it, and it with me is a sense of accountability. That's really all it was for me to, to really be accountable uh, for 
what I'm grateful for and just to make sure that I remind myself, if not, then other people were like, hey, dude, you're late today. What's going on? And I was like, oh, my bad. <laughs> so, but it's an accountability, which is great because I think sometimes we forget that we're grateful and, and that, that we're lucky to be in the place of where we are right now. So it was a, it's been a means for me to be accountable, but it's also a means to inspire a lot of people. So, uh, so today is, and this is episode three, having three of you guys here is the amplified version of that daily gratitude, as you call it, Sunday gratitude. So um, first and foremost, uh, I want to make sure that everybody knows, of course, who you guys are, the amazing, the amazing peeps who've been in my life. Uh, you know, Island Touch family is a, a group that has been how long have you guys been around now, technically? Yeah, really? like eight, 12 years. 12 years. So really, when, I, when when you guys were in Tampa, when I met you guys yeah. there, that was when you were starting? I was the beginning. You were there from the beginning. Yeah, you were. Really? They were like pretty much beginning. You were, I think it's funny because I went through one of our Facebook pages, I think the, the company one, the Island Touch one, and I found a picture of you dancing with somebody else in our studio in Tampa. I got to find it again. I got to send it to you. I'm like, oh my God, that's E. And it was like from 2009 or something. Oh well, when we're screaming out to all our day ones, we talk about yeah. you. <laughs> He's a day one. one. It's been funny. I mean, that evolution has been, been crazy because I think particularly you guys, I think, you know, I was thinking, hey, you know, I've always wanted to go Poland and I've always kind of wanted to check out, you know, the scene abroad and stuff. And I think that Warsaw Festival was one of the first international festivals I went to as a dancer. And that was because of you guys. You guys said, hey, look, if you want to go to Poland, we'll be there. We'll, we'll, we'll hit you up with, we'll, we'll hook you up with, with, a, with a pass and stuff like that. I didn't even know what that meant. It's like, yeah, we'll get, we'll get a pass. And I was like, what does that mean? Is, is there like tables? Is there bottles or something with that? And I was like, I had no idea. I brought my best friend Paolo with me and we go over there and we were like, oh, wow, this is a real thing. People actually go to these things. This is pretty big. And, and of course, I go into your class and I remember going to your class. I was like, oh, where's, where's the, I think we might be a little late. We're trying to get to the bachata class by the Island Touch guys. And they're like, oh yeah, you go to the gymnasio. And I was like, the gymnasio? And I was like, what, what the heck is going on? And I go over there and there was like 500, 600 people. I was like, what the hell is going on? I, 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 was, just in their, I was just in their class in Tampa. There was like 15 of us, 20 of us. You know? <laughs> And, and then like, where, where are all these people coming from? And, and, and of course, I was, I was like, oh, I, I just so that maybe they'll recognize me, I'll wear my red shirt. And of course, you guys were wearing the same red shirt. And so everyone was looking at me. It's like, why does this guy have the red shirt too? <laughs> I remember Georgie was like, hey guys, uh, just want to let you guys know, we want to give a shout out to our boy E coming all the way from Florida. He's the guy in the red shirt over there. So ladies, if you need anyone to dance with, just make sure you hit him up. And then I was like, <laughs> What? <laughs> and, every, and everyone went. Zzz. That's uh, that's, that's I was what like, we call my brother. <laughs> Thank you. That's basically saying, ladies, if you don't want to dance with me, if you see me tired and sweaty, that man right there, he's good. He's good. I was like, wow, he just increased my social life. Like, <laughs> that's right there. I was like, wow, this is, uh, I did not know what I was in for. But you know, from that moment on, I know I knew our relationship was special. And obviously, as you guys have grown, I have grown too. I remember the days that, you know, Tanya, you and I were talking about just like um, uh, putting up charities and foundations and, and all that other stuff. And, and the days that talking to George about Hollywood and moving in that direction and Rudy with the business side and how to exponentially create this. So I think each each of us has been in each other's lives. And, and for that, you know, it's been it's been an amazing ride, guys. It's been an amazing ride. So, so thank you for being being there thank with you. you. Thank you. So, all right, let's get this officially started. Um, first, what I'd like to do is do a quick check-in and breath work. It's my take five breath work. I know you guys have seen that. You said make fun of me. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> so, so this is just to get us grounded and it will already start the process. So for those that don't know, the take five ground uh, breath work is a grounding breath work uh, that I was introduced to by my XPT family, Laird Hamilton, Gary Reese. Uh, Mark Roberts and PJ Nestler um, and you know what they do is bring kind of breath work in a more sports medicine sports performance space but they also have little tricks and almost biohacking tools to allow you to get into the zone much quicker so this is called the take five and in take five as we remember the, the basics of breath work is where you breathe in through your nose and then you breathe out through your mouth but if you breathe in through your nose I want you to bring your stomach out and when you breathe out through your mouth you bring your stomach in 
And imagine that your lungs are balloons and you're in a birthday party and you want those balloons to expand and you want them to like detract. So, so the goal for this is not to necessarily blow the candle out when you have the birthday cake in front of you, but rather see the birthday cake and see the candle and blow it enough that it just flickers, it just dances. It does a little like, you know, it does the alemanish, it it does the alemanish shake. You know, it does the it does the this the wave that the body roll that you do. You know, you got so, a little twang. So, so, yeah, the little the little twang. So you don't want to blow it out, but you rather just let it dance. So let the candle dance. So breathe in, stomach out. Breathe out, blow out. Let the candle dance. So what we're gonna do is bring our right hand up, and then we're gonna put our right hand down like this, so right in front of you. We're gonna be in, in your left finger up. We're gonna put it right at the edge of the crease of your wrist. And then what I want to do as we breathe in, we breathe out, we're gonna to go to the edges of our fingers, and then we're gonna go back to the creases of the crease of the wrist. You guys ready? All right, ready. here we go. Take a deep breath in. Take a deep breath out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. Bring that hand to your heart. Close your eyes real quick. Bring the left hand on top of the right hand. Take another deep breath in. Take another deep breath out. And just stay right there for a second. And in this moment of centeredness, of grounding, and of receiving, I want you to think about what you're grateful for today. Take a moment to get present in the moment and allow yourself to download what it is at the top of the list that you have today out of everything that's going on and out of everything you're grateful for, what is that one thing? And when you have it, hold it. Put it right into your heart and take one more deep breath in and breathe out. And when you're ready, softly and gently, open your eyes and rise. All right, rock and roll. How are you feeling, guys? Good. Good, yeah. Great. See, <laughs> the beautiful thing about that is that it, um, it's, it's a, just a quick thing that you can even teach kids just to bring your hand. And it also gives like a kinesthetic feel where yeah. the kids, if you do it on the kid, it'd be like, they'll feel it. They're like, ooh, it's a little ticklish. And, but they get the sense of it because as you know, you know, the best learning experience is when it's experiential. I mean, just actually you can feel it, you can taste it, you can smell it when all the senses are kind of working. So, um, so that being said, as we begin today, I want to ask each one of you what you thought of as you put your hand to your heart, what you're grateful for the most today. Um, well, I think for me, I, I thought I had something that was going to be at the top of the list, but then something else came up. <laughs> um, so for me, I, uh, what I'm most grateful for today, and especially today, is family. Um, since today's Mother's Day, we had the opportunity to go to George's uh, mother's house and see wow. their, their par his parents for the first time in months, um, and his brother and his brother's girlfriend, and um, that was very special just to be able to even, you know, with everything going on and still having that social distancing type of thing, but being able to actually see them in person mm. and still have experiences with them. I think that was really important and it was really nice to witness and to also be a part of. So I'm very how, how How did you guys manage that situation uh, with regards to obviously the social distancing and stuff? There? So we were still six feet apart. Um, his mother would cook something and then she would bring it out and then walk away. Oh, wow. Um, she was, okay. She was cooking, you know, um, with masks and things like that. And then we're wearing masks. If we got closer, we played dominoes, which is a huge thing in his family. Mm -hmm. um, but we wore masks the whole entire time. And we didn't touch each other or anything like that. So it it's was just step. mostly a mask thing. And mostly a mask thing. Okay. Yeah. How did you guys eat when your mom was cooking? How, how did you eat? So my mom, yeah, my mom actually did... Um, Styrofoam plates. She said it was social distancing friendly. <laughs> so the, the, like the to-go to -go stuff that opens, 
Oh. Honestly, when she came, she brought it out. I thought she was basically saying, like, take this home with you. And I was like, I thought we were going to eat this here. She's like, yeah, that's your social distance plate. <laughs> so awesome. she had plastic cup, uh, plastic uh, yeah, forks. Um, you had the styrofoam plates. Like, everything was, was, I mean, we all had our separate drinks. Tanya and I were drinking, like, um, our own alcohol that we brought. They okay. had their own drinks. Um, yeah, man, like, you know, they're, they're on it for sure. <laughs> awesome. Well, well, thank you for sharing that. Well, now that you're now that you're sharing that, George, what what are you grateful for today? Yeah. So I, I'm gonna definitely piggyback off of Tanya's and just kind of um, portray it in a different way. You know, I think for me, the you know when I obviously you know put my my hand to my heart, I think the most thing the most important thing I'm grateful to uh, I'm, I'm grateful for is actually just being able to see them on a regular basis mm. at this point. Um, something that I, that I haven't had access to in a long time until we moved back here here to Orlando. So, uh, you know, because it's a little, it's a holiday is to, to, to celebrate my mother, I look past that and just even being, being accessible to making that 20 minute drive to see them, to me, it's just like, it's a, it's a wow. It's like, wow, I'm just so happy that literally at every, any given point right now in my life, I can go see my parents, even if it's five minutes, an hour, a few hours, you know, I really don't take that for granted anymore because of, of, of not having that in our life for, for so many years of travel. And now, full circle, you know, the three of us are still together, but now we're back to where we have access to our families again. And um, it's, a, it's an incredible feeling. You know, obviously, I'm extremely grateful for my mother on her special day. She's the most amazing woman I've ever met in my life. But more importantly, just to be a, around my mom, my father, my brother, his girlfriend, around these two, like... You know, I, I definitely wake up every every day blessed for sure. Mm, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. Thank you for sharing that. And, and and how has it been perceived on the other end from like your your you know from your family side that you or guys were finally coming here? I'm sure they were excited. Yeah, for sure. Um, so definitely, my mom, and my father, ecstatic. Um, you know, my my you know my mother. So my, my parents are from a big family. My mom's one of 12 kids and my dad. Well, okay. Yeah. That's a <laughs> my mom's problem. one of, <laughs> they, didn't have, uh, they didn't have TVs back there in Puerto Rico, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, one of 12, my dad's one of eight and my mom, you know, cut that off with two. So I think because they're very much already accustomed to big families, you know, my mom, you know, expect, you know my mom and my father both are very much, um, extremely attached to myself and my brother. Uh, so, you know, when my brother moved back to, to Orlando, that was just one piece. And then ever since that point, my parents were always like, hey, you wanna, you wanna complete it, complete it, just come back. And mm -hmm. we really didn't know that it was actually gonna happen like that. So one, they're super ecstatic. Uh, my parents, literally, it's a different energy from them every single time I see them. Um, you know, it's, it's the type of energy to where when I say bye, it's not a goodbye to see you later. Whereas okay. before it was, when am I going to see you again type of thing. So that I'm so happy that we've surpassed that. <laughs> and now it is a see you later rather than a goodbye. With my brother, um, I think it's just more the, the, the bond that has, been, that, that has been built between him and I. When we were younger, we just fought a lot. We didn't really have a, a close relationship. And literally the past couple of years, ever since I, you know, even before I moved back, um, we just started really growing a strong, strong bond as, as brothers. And then moving back just amplified that to the extreme to where we were able to really mm. access ourselves and, and, and be accessible to each other, either by phone or, you know, meeting up and, and, and talking. So definitely, uh, uh, they're, they're all very, very happy for sure. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. Sure. And I'll take it Mambo, Rudy. What uh, what what came up for you as you put your hand to your heart today and, and thought of what you're grateful for? Well, I don't want to be cliche, but honestly, <laughs> when I when I put my hands to my heart, I just felt George and Tanya. Like I just felt the love for them, and I was like, oh. Oh, they were here, they were missing all day. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, damn, I'm thankful for these two. You know, it's awesome that they're here. I'm here with them now, and you know, there's a lot of people who can't be they can't touch their friends and yeah. since we've been able to yeah. social distance together we can touch we up can on do each this. other <laughs> we can cry about on each other you know what I'm saying <laughs> well that's amazing I think I think just 
overall how your dynamic has been and obviously seeing you guys through the years as you've grown individually i think there's always that that situation where you kind of go in a roundabout and then find each other again with this growth this exponential growth that you've gone through and and then it becomes even more magical you know and, and not to be and it's ironic obviously you guys being orlando and magic you know it's kind of like a, you know but but it's kind of it, it is very magical so i'm happy to see that because i'm happy to see the joy in, in you guys' faces and the energy that you guys bring you know uh whether during your instagram lives or just in general nowadays and i love the fact that you've even gone more grounded you guys all three of you guys you know and rudy obviously being being in there in that journey with with you know with the self-care and meditation and the mindfulness stuff i think it's also helped all of you create that bond even stronger and i'm i'm just honored to see that it's been it's been quite the amazing journey guys so all right cool so we want to say hi a couple people first there's like everyone that's on here beth and Hars. yasmin is here i know you guys remember yasmin from paris uh jacqueline aziz uh adele antonio uh Priyanka. Oh, Lee. Lee from Colombia is here too. She's hanging out. Uh, there's a bunch of people coming on, on the stream here. So make sure guys to click on the little arrow at the bottom so you can share this conversation with your friends while this is going on as we talk to continue to talk to my dear friends on what they're grateful for today. So that said, um, that said what are you guys doing right now um, to share that gratitude that either a individually or as a group uh to the world today what are you guys doing to share what you feel um on whether a daily basis or a weekly basis right now well the first thing we're doing as a team and then obviously each one of us does our own thing individually but as a team um monday through friday we do a meditation session 10 minutes at 7 15 ish and uh, we just invite all of our friends family and fans to join us and go within and be present. So that's the, that's the main thing that we've been doing in terms of a specific wellness. Obviously, mm -hmm. through all of our online stuff, we're always just trying to give our joy and our love as, as a dance company and spread that. But the, the different thing, the more present thing that we've been doing now is that, the 715 stuff. All right, cool. Is, is there um, anything that you guys are doing individually um, that you're able to do and share gratitude to? the people that are following you or anything you're doing even for yourself or for other people around you? I think individually, um, just for myself, last week, um, like I went live and just talking to people and, you know, checking up on people. And then one of the things that I've read in a recent book, oh, well, I've read the book like three times and I'm just <laughs> now putting it into action. But one of the things I've been doing is, um, listing every morning when I wake up five things that I'm grateful for in my personal mm. life and five things that I'm grateful for in my work life. And I've been posting that as well in my stories every now and then. I'm like, okay, so what are you grateful for? And then I'll list what I'm grateful for, um, like on my Facebook and things like that. So that's just trying to spread what I've learned and what I'm doing to maybe help other people do the same or do their own version of it. Okay, very cool, very cool. Um, Anybody yeah, else? I think, um, yeah. I think, you know, two things I can think of right now are, are one, I, I, the first thing I think about is schedule and two retreats. So the first one scheduling is, I think that we have um, enabled a very, um, you know, clear and positive space for us during this time from the beginning by creating a schedule and itinerary. And in that, in that itinerary, we added family time. And that mm -hmm. is where this guy right here has cooked for us every <laughs> night. Every um, night? Well, yeah. I, I cooked the for the I first one last night. night. George, George cooked last night. I made hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! So, um, you know, I think myself and Tanya are extremely blessed to have Rudy and Bianca, you know, you know one, even just you know, uh, being able to provide that to us because – if that wasn't even around, Tanya and I would be spending a lot of money on found fast food, and we'd probably be eating a lot poor, you know, just really poorly. We, we've been having some dope, dope dinners. Um, I, I've been actually losing weight just, <laughs> just okay. from the dinners. Um, so it's I good, think that's good food. It's, it's, nah, it's, it's been amazing right. food. So I definitely think that more importantly, the good food and the good health is helping us. But I think it's just that we know that 715, it's we're unplugging. It's seven fifteen mm -hmm. is meditation. Eight thirty, we're um, we're meeting in the dinner table. We have our dinner. We're talking. We're conversing, 
And then after dinner, everyone, you know, is off to do their own thing. And we, we've been able to do that every single night the entire quarantine. So that's kind of a good thing. We know that we have every, all of the day to work, knock everything out, and family time. Um, so that's one. And then I think also, too, our personal retreatments are really, really helping out. We all, all three of us are very fortunate to live in a beautiful home where all three of us have our own Zen rooms or our mm. own personal spaces. Spaces, and okay. Spaces. And I think, I think we're all doing very, very well at retreating to those personal spaces to, you know, unplug and to re-energize personally. Um, and, I, and I definitely see, I see Rudy doing, I see Tanya do it. You know, we all have different things, different activities that we all, you know, tend to. But I definitely see that we're all three of us really, um, really acting on those retreatments um, and trying to gain some new energy and then just really capitalizing on hitting every day new and fresh and, you know, strong. I like it. It's like, I, it's like you've been asked this question before, Georgie. It's been <laughs> <laughs> like you were ready, you were like, oh, I know he's going to ask it. So <laughs> I, actually, I did, send you, I did send you the, the, the questions before. So I, <laughs> yes, I like how you I thought did, about it. I did, thoughtful about did it. his homework. <laughs> <laughs> I did read them. I, I know. I was like, is but Georgie reading say, this right now? <laughs> clearly I will are. say it's whenever this, you know, and I've always felt this whenever, I mean, especially myself, Tanya and Rudy, whenever we're in this space together, um, you know, I, I just speak for myself. I feel like I'm on it because I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel their energy, you know, and now having you in the picture, I know the last time, the, the, the last time they're all four of us together, it was the same thing. It was just like, just yeah. one after another. So I blame you for it, bro. Uh, <laughs> thanks, brother. Rudy, do you, do you have anything that you're sharing besides cooking? Um, uh, which is amazing. I mean, that's, that's just the joy of cooking. You're sharing with every, with, you know, with the, the two and everybody else. What, is there anything else you're personally doing? Um, personally for myself, I've been going on my old man walks. Oh, uh, yeah. So, you know, in the, uh, in the Latin American culture, you know, growing up, you would always see like your uncles, they would, they would put their hands behind their back and just walk <laughs> around the neighborhood. And, uh, so I do that. Aimlessly, now. like aimlessly, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it, it just gets good. It gets me outside, breathing in the fresh air. You know, the weather in Florida has been absolutely gorgeous. It's the best weather I've. Maybe it's like this all the time. We travel so much, but I, I want to live here now. <laughs> you just didn't notice it. It's been around. Yeah, I, like, I, grew up, I grew up here, and this is definitely the Orlando weather. I'm happy that. <laughs> so I just be like, wow, this where we live is really pretty awesome. <laughs> We should live here more often. <laughs> so anyway, that, that's been my thing. Just okay, go for a cool. walk. It I, uh, gives me an opportunity to make phone calls and, and also move a little bit because, okay. you know, it's not easy to move as much as you would like when you're at home. I know. I hear you. Well, thank, thank, you, thank you for sharing that. Uh, guys, if you guys are on the, on, on the, on the uh, chat, uh, just put down where you're from so we can give you some shout outs and stuff as you go through the list. Um, also, please click that little arrow button so you can share this this beautiful love fest that's going on. Yeah, that little arrow button. So you can share this beautiful love fest for everyone that's all around. Uh, you guys are in Sunday gratitude, just in case you guys just walked in. Uh, and we're sharing this with the beautiful La Alemana, uh, the handsome Jorge uh, uh, Ataka, and of course, the oh, Inteligente. Oh, wow. Wow. That, yes. That is so <laughs> like, what is this? What's going I wanna on? Be, I want to be beautiful. You're really <laughs> sexy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm not so, mad. I'm not mad. I'm not so mad. Well, so one, one, one thing that I'd like to, one of the biggest, the meat and potatoes of, of this talk is usually um, is the gratitude visit. So the gratitude visit, as um, I've been going through positive psychology, has been shown to be in, in terms of intervention, the, the, the greatest intervention in terms of change that occurs in a person's life. And the gratitude visit is basically a simple process of writing a letter and, and hand delivering that letter to somebody that you're grateful for and reading it to that person. Mm -hmm. And that person just receiving it, you know, that person doesn't have to, have to thank you back, doesn't have to write you a letter back. Is this you going to somebody that you think in your heart of hearts that you want to thank personally, writing the letter by hand, putting it in an envelope, and before delivering to that person saying, I have a letter for you, can I read it to you? And asking that permission, that consent. And then as you read it, you let that person just receive. And 
this has been shown to have such a massive effect on people's lives. But and even though the effect really only lasts for a whole month, there's some interventions that last for about six months. This has the greatest amount of change. So imagine being able to send a gratitude letter to somebody at least once a month, then that you will live an absolutely flourishing life just to be able to do that. So it's a pretty it's pretty simple technique, but across the board, probably the greatest positive psychological intervention that you can possibly do. So now my question asked to ask you guys is that if you individually um, have to give or would like to give somebody a gratitude letter, who would you give it to and why? And anyone can answer that accordingly. You want to take a moment to think about it. It's all good as well. Uh, I'm as ready you... since I have my <laughs> Oh, okay. You, you got, okay. <laughs> I don't have questions ready. Um, right. Go ahead, George. So this one, definitely, I'm going to um, send this one straight to my mother. Um, you know, not because it's Mother's Day, but I think because today it, it made me really, um, it just reminded me, you know, how much, uh, you know, I, I do need to remind her how much uh, I love her and how much I'm grateful for her. So definitely I feel like the letter that I would send would be to her a hundred percent. And I think the message, you know, I think the message that, that would, would, would it, the message that it would carry would be number one, thank you for understanding and being on, you know, and supporting me. Um, and the reason why I think that comes up is like, even in this, in this time right now, you know, the last, cause I saw her last week, um, and it was very uncomfortable. It was extremely uncomfortable not being able to give my mom a hug. You know what I'm mm. saying? Even today, not being able to give my mom a hug. And you can tell that even for her, it was, it was, it was hard. But she's the strong woman that she is. She didn't, let, she didn't let that affect us and the energy. So it really helped me. And really understand, like, man, mom, you really got my back. And you know what? If I don't tell you that on a regular basis, I need you to know that, that, you're, you're the shit. Like, you really, really do got my back. I appreciate you. I love you. I will spend the rest of my living days trying to communicate how grateful I am to having you as my mother. Um, and that's it. And then just thanking her, thanking her, thanking her on a daily basis. Uh, that's really where my, 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 my Sunday gratitude and all my Sunday gratitude is stored and, and sent towards her. Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So that's going to be your homework, dude. You're going to have to write the letter to your mom sure. and, 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 and hand it, deliver it to it and read it to her. I'm so with it. Yeah. Okay, good. So who's next? Uh, I'm going to go, but um, I, I didn't know you were going to give us more homework after that. So. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, I don't want to change my answer. <laughs> but again, I, I'm just cliche man today. But, you know, as I was thinking about it, you know, th thanks to people like you in my life and being around you for so long, I I've, I've had some, been able to implement some good practices in my life, staying in touch with people and, and having a, root a regular routine of letting the people that are close to me know how thankful I am of, for them. I was thinking that I, I would do, uh, you know, a nurse or, you know, some of our first okay. responders out there, who, okay. You know, some, some of, I, I was reading a story of a, a nurse in Manhattan. She lives by herself. She's putting in like 16 hour days and she's on the front lines of a war zone. And I'm like, damn, she does all this for everybody else. And then she goes home alone and, mm. and there's no one there to, to say thank you in person or show her that love. So if I had an opportunity to do something like that, that would be, you know, our first responder, someone who's alone at home and, and, and doesn't have someone saying, hey, thank you for putting your life on the line. Thank you for saving other people. Thank you for being so uh, giving and tireless. Oh, that's beautiful. There's a, there's a, a, a website called tribute.co. That's kind of like an, an electric version or electronic version of, of Hallmark. Mm. Um, started by a friend of mine, actually. And I think if you're I'm writing it down, I'm writing it down. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. So a a everyone's out there. You go to the tribute.co. Um, mm -hmm. It's like, like I said, it's like an e hallmark situation. And I think now you can uh, use it for free if you're going to send stuff to frontliners, I think right now. And uh, oh, cool. it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful situation because they obviously, uh, the touch situation is a challenge, but people also still want to uh, show them gratitude. And obviously, Every day in New York, people clap their hands at 7 p.m. when people, you know, at night from their apartments and other places around the world. But obviously, having a personal situation is uh, is would be pretty pretty amazing. So, we got Daniela Desiree in the house, I think. 
Hey, Kaloke! Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's uh, up, Daniel Desiree? And, and, um, and yeah, so I, I think that, that's, that's absolutely beautiful. I think more than anybody, anyone else, they, they deserve it, you know? Because um, especially in New York, man, there's a lot of people here that, uh, that are living by themselves and they don't, you know, they don't have anyone to go home to. That's and awesome. All that work. So, yeah. I'll uh, do it. I'll that'd be I nice. can yeah, do that. That's a home. Gonna, that's your home. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna send all of them a touch of love. A t oh. <laughs> on brand, right there. <laughs> on brand situation. Speaking on brand, Tanya, who do you got? Um. Wow. Um. There's a lot of people that I'm grateful for, but I think the first letter I would send would be to this guy. Yay! Okay. <laughs> What's up? I gave them a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Madrid says kisses. What? <laughs> trying not to get too emotional because this is live and semi permanent. I'm just going <laughs> to keep it very short and sweet. But he came into my life at a very. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we get real here. This is Sunday gratitude. We get real. For real. Gratitude. <laughs> Gratitude is real. Um, no, he came into my life at a very dark time. Oh. And he just kind of helped pull me out of it, along with Rudy. Um, I think I met them at the right time, at the right point in my life. <laughs> And I'm just very grateful for both of them, but especially him, because he's seen um, the dark times that I went through, the really depressive times, and he's supported me always very unconditionally, um, which is really hard to find, because normally you think unconditional love would come from a parent, mm. and it does. I mean, my, my mother loves me unconditionally, but I was just very surprised to have it come from another human that I'm not related to, um, mm -hmm. that I'm just in a relationship with, and especially my history with men, I never expected it to come from a man. Um, so I'm just, I'm very grateful for that. I love you, baby. <laughs> Everybody, let's show Alemane some love, please. Send her some hearts on the chat, put it out there, and tell them where you're from, and saying, say, sending some love from New York, you know, <laughs> sending you some love from New York. I know you got some love from Brazil, from Colombia, from Italy, and everybody else. So thank you for sharing that, dear, and, and being authentic and being real. Um, oh. That's that's beautiful. Thank you for that. Mm, wow. Whew. Wow. Woo. Amazing. I got yeah, me I too. Ah, it's, it's getting, it's getting uh, Dubai. Dubai Let me service. Some love too. <laughs> so Dubai sends some love. Venezuela and Valencia and Spain sending some love. Um, so um, what I want, what I want, like, would ask for you guys right now is that I, I know you, we've already talked about what you guys were working on and stuff from kind of like the things that you're doing, but is there something else that you're currently working on, maybe even personally, um, during this period of time that uh, that you can share? You know, obviously, you guys talked about the meditation, you talked about taking walks and taking care of yourself, but is there something that uh, individually you guys are currently working on, uh, whether that's learning how to play the guitar or the ukulele or or whether it's learning how to cook you know or <laughs> <laughs> or something is there something else that you're personally personally or professionally working on um i mean i could say for myself um so i on this side like this is on a, like on a personal on a personal note you know everyone mm -hmm. knows that you know um my hobbies have always been you know baseball you know, riding motorcycles. Um, you know, I, I like, you know, going out and, you know, being out with my friends. And then, you know, on the side, I have a little bit of gaming swag to my to my lifestyle. So I like to kind of unwind and, and unplug and not unplug, actually plug in <laughs> to the virtual world. So uh, my friends, obviously, since we're quarantined, we, we've, we've been kind of, that's our way of connecting. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. now it's not really FaceTime. It's we just connect on the on on the, the Xbox or whatever it is, and we just chat and we just talk. So obviously, again, going back to being you know exposed to to this guy's brain and being exposed to this this woman's brain, and you know everything for me specifically me has always been 
take something you love and what can, how can you capitalize on that? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Where it can really benefit you and benefit the people around you. Um, so I would say the tech, the talent that I'm trying to now pick up is a lot of streaming stuff. Um, I'm okay, really learning now. Yeah, I'm learning, I'm learning how to do a lot of Photoshop. I had my first private lesson and tutorial with Rudy Lopez, <laughs> El Tiger the Mambo. Um, so now I, I, well, I don't know, but I'm learning how to use like systems like OBS, um, um, learning how to use Restream, uh, Photoshop. And then on top of that, I'm really trying to dig deep into, since I have time that I'm dedicating to like the gaming thing that doesn't affect the dance, how can I intertwine the dance into the gaming? So mm. now I'm basically creating a dance stream for gamers. <laughs> what? Uh, so that's definitely something you're working on professionally and personally. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So I'm really excited about it. I think it's kind of cool. Um, something I can still really connect with my fr uh, my friends with, but still be able to promote the the company I love, which is Out of Touch. You know, I'm Out of Touch for life. I will literally try and every opportunity <laughs> to, th to throw the word out and such in there. And I saw a window, um, you know, while streaming potential gameplay to showcase, you know, dance, content, videos, music, and I'm getting it. <laughs> I like it. So gaming, streaming, all, all that good stuff and combining that with dance. That's really amazing. That's, awesome. that's really amazing, man. That's that's a that's a great thing to work on. That's a great thing to work on. Kudos to you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Um, for myself, what I've been working on, I mean, I I picked up picked up painting like a few years ago. Ooh, maybe like two she's years dope. Years ago. She's getting really good. Modern, they love me. Modern day Picasso. <laughs> they say it they love me. But um, this guy has just commissioned me. <laughs> oh to do um, some artwork for one of his walls. So that's the thing that I'm working on. And I'm really trying to make it look really nice. <laughs> <laughs> really, I put a lot of- Hey, da -da. <laughs> do it again. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, that's great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I, I don't want it on the wall anymore. I think it'll look real nice. In the closet. <laughs> <laughs> so, She's awesome. So yeah, That's I'm amazing. working on my painting skills a little bit. Um, I've ordered like a ton of canvases. And then the other thing is I'm reading a lot more. Okay. So because I have time, I'm actually trying to get to a point where I can read a, one book a week. Right now, I'm like right around two weeks. So every two weeks, I do a book. Um, so I'm trying to just read as much as I can. And most of it is like just... Um, I wouldn't call it self-help, but it's like going along. So you gave me this book, um, The Code for the Extraordinary Mind. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the book that I've read three times, but it's in that okay. realm, like the happiness right. advantage, happier, all that stuff. So okay. I'm reading those types of books, trying to get through each of them. And then also, oh, yeah, and I forgot, almost. I was like, um, you better share that. I, <laughs> I literally wrote a note. I'm like, can you say that too? Um, I actually, which I'm really, it's just news, and I'm really excited about it. But um, an author wrote me about two weeks ago. Her name's Megan Morrison. And she's writing two books, and she asked me to write the foreword of one of her books. Oh, so, wow. okay. yeah, so I'm really excited because I do enjoy writing as well. And I've always thought, I'm like, it would be cool to write a book about Island Touch and our personal lives. Yeah. And I think this was just like a really cool opportunity to try it out and write and see how it goes. And then yeah. I enjoyed it, so maybe I can start a new project of a book for Island Touch. Wow. Well, there's no maybe. I've already, the same way when you put a request for a painting. <laughs> I put a request for an answer, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's beautiful. You know, I think you're doing it right. Sometimes, you know, trying to the bite, this big bite is always challenging and daunting, but trying to do little things and, and write and trying to fine tune that skill. It is a skill to write and, uh, and particularly for a book wise. And I think that'll be, that'll be good for you as, as a practice. And then as it's a flow begins and it's something you're used to, then, then you can begin your own journey into writing your own, personal book and yeah. make it big and so wow thank you for sharing that amazing revelations here on sunday gratitude. <laughs> <Ooh>. revelations <laughs> it's getting real <laughs> <laughs> what do you got rudy what what's that what are you working on right now um i'm honestly i don't have anything new that i've been working on in terms of picking up 
a new skill or anything? Yeah, yeah um, <laughs> he's become a media guy, a photographer, a producer, a director, a screenwriter. What else? <laughs> so basically, the the reason why I'm even considering the streamlined stuff, uh, the, the streaming stuff, is because since day one, we saw all of these things that he took in, and he literally has taken all of that. Everything media now that's online, the lives, the yeah. lighting, the cameras, the stands, like this whole studio. You can like, see the studio. This is all his <laughs> setup. Like, so this, yeah, those are all the new things he's been doing. So yeah, let's talk about that. How about that? Right? But I thought he's been doing that for a while now, though, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting, I'm focusing on doing the things better and honestly, really just trying to make sure that all the projects that, we, that we've been working on finally it's so hard when you travel, you, you do them with the little bit of time you have, right? And the energy that you have. But being, being here and now being able to be at home, I've been able to really focus on them and, and grow them and, and refine mm. our strategies that, you know, that the team has been working on and things. So we got, we, I, think, I think everything that we've been doing, we're still doing that. We're just doing it, I think, at a higher quality. And when we get out of here, oh. y'all better be ready because... Ooh. It's been working out. We've been rejuvenating. But I told you that I mean, we won't stop. I'm you're getting you love from everywhere. Stop. Argentina, San Antonio, <laughs> Paris. Everyone's going to get some love. Everybody's going to get some love. <laughs> I mean, we got San Antonio. We got Medellin in the house. Nice. Everyone's getting some love for you guys. So they're going to be better be ready because because things are, 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 are going to blow up even more. <laughs> even more and more for you guys. Well, th thank you guys for, for, for showing up for not just me, but for, for everyone else as well. Uh, thank you for sharing uh, what you're grateful for. And obviously, thank you for being authentic, Tanya. Mm. Thank you for being authentic and being real, particularly with me. We may, we may be away from each other and we may not be able to be sitting down and, and having these discussions, but to be able to be real um, for, for me and for everyone else that's watching tonight, that's, that's good stuff. So before we end, there's one thing that I still want to ask you guys to do. And of course, you guys are pros. You know, the two other people that's been on my show, they're like, really, do I have to do that? Um, <laughs> but you guys are going to be easy. Um, it's called the gratitude dance for the week. So it's basically just asking you guys, don't worry, just have to be choreographed. It's like, what would be a dance move that would you be like, okay, to kind of get you, it's like, it's like the reminder. It's like having this little bracelet that says, every time I look at this bracelet, it's like, oh, I have to, I, what am I grateful for today? It's like a reminder. So what would be that gratitude dance for you for the week? Whether it's like, it could be as easy as a RoboCop. It could be like, it could be the cabbage patch, you know, it could oh, be whatever. Yeah. You know? <laughs> it could be yeah, the yeah. What, what, what would be the gratitude dance for the week for you guys? What am I doing? Is it, is it, wait, is it, is it a team or is it, is, is everybody doing Oh no, you guys are breaking up. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Yeah, yeah, everyone back, the same dance. So then all of you guys can like, it could be something like you would put on TikTok, like an easy thing. What would be that one ah, dance okay. all you guys It's a group do? dance. That's not my department. Oh, that's <laughs> they're, 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 they're the choreographers. Woo Come up with something nice. That's right. This is like a, oh. I want to look cute. This is like a hot seat situation. <laughs> this is like the hot. This is like so Sunday I'm gratitude gonna, hot seat. I'm gonna I'm gonna segue this on to Tanya because she actually starting into this quarantine has become like Miss TikTok and stuff, and I haven't even like oh. that. So she, first off, and this is coming from literally while I was in my theater room, she was learning a TikTok in front of me. So I was like, that's it. Miss TikTok right here, let's go, what you got? I got the cabbage patch. Okay. Which, uh, oh, are we going to the left, to the left, to the left. Yes. You both are wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, I like that. That's a good one. Yeah, That's awesome. I like it. All you youngies yeah. don't know about that. That's how your parents are in love. <laughs> this, is, this is the gratitude dance for the week, y'all. The gratitude dance for the week. Stir the Sancocho. Stir the Sancocho. Or, 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 or we can either call it the cabbage patch or the Rudy cooking the stew. <laughs> the this is the pernita <laughs> dance. The, 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 the pernita dance, right? Stir the stew, you gotta do the time. Ah. <laughs> 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 Wait, I got well, amazing, guys. Thank you guys for being here. I know we went over the 30 minutes that we technically go through, but you guys are amazing. You shared so much love. Um, got any last messages, maybe Mother's Day messages for anybody or people out there that are listening in? Um, well, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Um, know that you are thought of. 
and you are our heroes. And without you, we definitely wouldn't be on this planet. Mm -hmm. So you're pretty important. Um, and know that there's a lot of love out there for you. The single moms, the moms that maybe didn't give birth to their children, mm -hmm. um, you're still just as valuable and just as important. So happy Mother's Day. Wow. Um, shout out to all our supporters, our mm -hmm. fans, um, friends. Uh, thank you for providing us continuous energy to wanting to continue creating and wanting to continue providing you guys um, with more positiveness on a daily basis. You guys are the driving force for what we do on a regular basis, mm -hmm. what we create and our motives and what we do. We do what we do because we want to touch the world and we love what we do and we want to touch you guys mm -hmm. with our passion. So thank you guys for continuously energizing us. Um, and like Rudy says, we are just getting started. So get the motors oiled up because we're gonna need you guys to keep them motors running for a long time. Woo! Touch the people. <laughs> I just wanna uh, give thanks and a shout out to all of my wellness people. E, thank you. Um, I, you know, thanks to you and people like you, we're able to be more grounded. We're able to be more present. We're able to stir up more Sancocho dances. So <laughs> shout out to you, brother. Thank you, guys. And, and Echo Life and Jay Shetty. Echo Life, Jay Shetty, Touch the World. Everybody, <laughs> happy Sunday, Sunday fun day, Sunday gratitude. Thank you all for being here. And uh, till next time, um, what are you grateful for? Let's cabbage patch it. Yeah, Sancocho, Sancocho. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> All right, guys. Peace out. Happy Sunday. Happy Mother's Day. Love you. Love you. Love you. Korean hearts. K-pop hearts. Ah, oh <laughs> K-pop hearts. <laughs> All right. Cheers.